Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Anis Leroyev from UCBL. <coughs> uh, I'm not uh, a software developer uh, either. I have more a background related to uh, human body model and biomechanics. So I'm going to show you how it's possible to scale the child model uh, through a short demo uh, with Piper. But first, I'm going to say a few words uh, how it's done. So there is a mod module in the custom menu that you can see on the on the left here, uh, where you can uh, have this box to scale uh, the the child. Uh, so it uh, it allows to scale the anthropometric, anthropometric dimensions of the Piper child model uh, between 1.5 uh, years old and six years old. Uh, for ages between two and six years old, uh, the data are uh, derived from the JBoss regression. And these data are expanded to uh, 1.5 years old uh, from the published uh, candidate data. And there are also control points uh, on the shape, uh, on the vertebrae to control uh, the shape. Uh, it's also by uh, checking uh, this option to uh, scale the material properties that it was already mentioned previously. But uh, this option needs to be uh, more tested, and uh, for now, so far, it's still uh, experimental. So the scaling is done using the accrediting method with, uh, implanted within a uh, Piper. And for this uh, menu, the target control points are obtained from uh, an, Octa an Octave script that is uh, delivered with the, with the application. And uh, in this script, the linear regression are uh, already uh, computed and uh, implanted in the script. The, there is an, a second uh, option to scale uh, the child model. Uh, there we, can, uh, we can choose the Snyder database where there are more uh, dimensions. Uh, there are uh, about 85 dimensions where there are only 34 JBOD. So first, you can create targets from, uh, the anthropometric, from the anthropometric module. And then, as it was already shown by uh, R1, I think. And then you can, uh, scale, uh, you can scale the child model through the scale scaling constraints uh, mod uh, module. And uh, there is a possible application for that. For example, for the uh, proposal R129, and this uh, regulation uh, deals with uh, a certain range of uh, child dimensions, like the 95th percentile and the 5th percentile. And uh, thanks to the Snyder database dimension, it's possible to generate a child with the dimensions that are requ requested by this uh, uh, regulation, like the stature, the sitting height, the shoulder breadth, the hip breadth, or the thigh clearance. And yeah, it's possible to generate such uh, child models. So I'm going to show you just right now how it works. All right, so here you are in the custom module here on the left. And by clicking here, you, can, you have a box and you can play. So first here, you have to select uh, where you, your, control pro your control points come from. Yeah. So here you can see the source control points. And by you there is a slider, and you, you can uh, move it uh, by changing the, ta the target age uh, in month. So from uh, 18, um, 18 months uh, to uh, uh, 18 years old. And it's also possible to override, uh, override the age limit. But for uh, those values, the regulations are, uh, of course, not guaranteed anymore. And uh, since the height is directly related to the age, of course, if you uh, move the target height, uh, it's also moved the target age uh, uh, in the slider. So, uh, and then uh, when you are the age you want or the height, you can uh, preview, or there is also this uh, option, but I'm not gonna try to, uh, <laughs> to activate just right now, uh, since it's quite experimental. So then you can uh, apply it and uh, create a new model that will be in your uh, 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 history. And then you can uh, use any uh, other module of Piper, like posi positioning or smooth or everything. So this is uh, with, the <coughs> with, the, with this uh, module. You can also, um, so with the Snyder database, no, it's not that one. 
Yeah, this is uh, the, for example, a child that I uh, created from uh, the Snyder database uh, with the dimensions derived from the L129 regulation. For uh, this is, I think, a 95th percentile uh, child. Uh, and the dimension that I uh, requested was the stature, the sitting height, the hip breadth, and uh, also the shoulder breadth. So then you can export it, of course, uh, to uh, FE models and just run it or do whatever you want. <laughs>